So as a uh, faculty member at Minds, uh, I've got to teach some 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 really interesting courses to really really bright students. And I was uh, one semester I was teaching a course in general relativity, and this was a course that I had myself learned. I had taken a course in this once before, a very long, short time ago. Uh, and um, I don't feel like I got a lot out of the course. And then I had learned the rest of the material sort of through doing research. Um, but I was going and I was teaching this course and um, there was one particular topic or one particular example in a topic that I was explaining to the class and not to belabor the details, but I was, um, I was trying to show that uh, a circle, just an ordinary circle, um, is an example of something called a manifold. And that's not too important, but um, the idea is that to, to adequately describe this circle as a manifold, you have to use two coordinate systems to do it, two separate coordinate systems to do it. And um, what was interesting was I was trying to do this example in the class, and as I was working through the example of showing that you would use two coordinate systems, you have to use two coordinate systems to describe the circle, the students started asking me questions. And they were the little detailed questions that really can confound a person, you know, teaching. They're like exactly like, well, what happens when you go to 2 pi? Is that the same as zero? And I started getting confused. I started getting really confused. And they, they poked and they prodded, and eventually I sort of gave in. And I was like, I really don't understand why I can't figure out what's going on. And so I did something which by that time I had learned uh, to be a valuable lesson, and that's to say, I'm confused. I will have to think about this outside of a classroom, and I'll come back and explain why I'm confused next time. So I went home and I actually thought about it, and what I came to discover, and I'm not sure if the students had figured it out, but they certainly got me uh, pinned on it, as I had discovered that in trying to prove that a circle requires two coordinate systems, um, my proof was using a single coordinate system. So I was trying to prove something using uh, the, uh, the, the opposite result. Um, and I think what I learned from that is you, you often, on your own, develop your own understanding of something. And there's a certain level of comfort you get with that, where you say, okay, this kind of makes sense, and I see why this is the case, and you sort of internalize the lesson. But the truth is, is that you haven't really 100% learned something until you can completely and successfully explain it to someone else. And that is, of course, exactly what happened in that situation. I thought that I completely understood what I was going to talk about, and then when I had to put my money where my mouth was, uh, the students taught me otherwise.